Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Hannah from the Instagram My Skincare Regime, where I post about skincare products I'm currently using. I also have a blog where I write in-depth product reviews. The link will be down below. In this video, I'll be showing you my current PM routine. Well, one of two versions of it, as I alternate each night to prevent mixing of actives. I'll be showing you swatches and sharing my thoughts on the products. And before we get started, please make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up, it really helps. And to subscribe today for future content. Now, let's get on with the video. Firstly, my skin type is, I have acne prone combination skin that gets easily clogged, so I tend to go for more lightweight formulations. And for my PM routine, I actually cleanse early in the evening, so I didn't include a live swatch of the cleanser I used. But this evening, I used the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. If you would like to see a live swatch, then please check out my previous video on cleansers. The link will be down below. It's a really gentle, cream-ish cleanser that is comfortable enough to use that I don't feel the need to instantly apply a hydrating serum on top as soon as I've used it. So when I start my PM routine, I initially use a toner. And the toner I'm currently using is the Hada Labo Gokujin Premium Hyaluronic Acid Lotion. So this is an upgrade from the regular Gokujin lotion. And that's because this contains five forms of hyaluronic acid. So in theory, this should penetrate the skin a lot deeper. So this should be more effective in locking in hydration and combating dry skin. And also, this contains urea, which should also help with extra hydration and moisture. This also doesn't contain fragrance or essential oils. I have reviewed both the regular Gokujin lotion and also the light version. The link will be down below. I like the packaging, the flip cap top, but it can be a bit messy because I find this product quite thick and also quite gloopy. It's very similar to the Dear Claire's Supple Preparation Toner in terms of texture, but the difference is this product does not ball up under my serums, under my SPF. It sits very comfortably on the skin once it's absorbed. I initially fully saturate a cotton pad and swipe my face to remove any excess oils or dirt from cleansing. And then I go on in with another layer of this product just to fully saturate my skin with hydration before moving on to the next step. I would highly recommend this to anyone with dry skin and dehydrated skin. This formula is non-sticky and I don't get any weird smells from it. I'd say it's a good dupe for the Niod MMHC, however that product is definitely much more lightweight than this. Once toning is done, I move on to the serum stage. My serums usually involve an active like a peptide or this, vitamin C. This current vitamin C I'm testing is from Mad Hippie. I attached a pump onto this and I purchased this from Niod. I will be reviewing this product on the blog so please stay tuned. This is basically somewhat of a dupe of the CE Ferulic Serum from SkinCeuticals as vitamin C, E and ferulic acid work really well together to prevent free radical damage on the skin. Cognac root is added to help supposedly soothe the skin. This contains a stable derivative of vitamin C, so it's not pure L-ascorbic acid. So this formula irritates the skin less, but is also less potent. This also contains hyaluronic acid for hydration, and as you can see from the texture, it is a bit thick, but it's not ridiculous. And it is absolutely fine to rub into the skin, it absorbs well. This does contain essential oils, which is unnecessary in my opinion, but thankfully the smell does disappear once this is absorbed. This also contains aloe vera, which is soothing. As you can see, the product isn't too sticky. This genuinely hasn't been an unpleasant product to use. And I do find it hydrating for a vitamin C serum and it doesn't ball up on the skin. Now on to eye cream. Next up is the COSRX Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream. A full review of this is on the blog. This eye cream is supposed to both help with lines and brighten the under eye area with the use of peptides, niacinamide, and of course, 72% snail secretion filtrate. Overall, a genuinely lovely creamy formula that's not too thick and absorbs refreshingly well into my under eyes. I apply this both under and on top of my eyelids as it doesn't irritate. It feels cooling on my eyes as well. There is no alcohol, essential oils or fragrance. 
There is some sort of residue with this because it does contain snail filtrate, but it doesn't make the product too messy to use. I find that this product does help me look more awake and is genuinely really hydrating and moisturising. You can see it's like a cream close to a gel and just fully absorbs into the skin once this is rubbed in properly. If I'm feeling really dry I'll apply this twice. Next up I like to seal everything in with a moisturiser and this evening I'm using the hemp moisturiser from the Inky List. This is supposed to calm irritation and contains hemp oil which contains a high content of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids to help energise and nourish the skin. This also contains the antioxidant benefits of green tea. However, be aware that this does contain coconut oil in case you are reactive to it. This is a very lightweight cream. I mean, I would even recommend it to oily skins. It feels like melted butter on the skin, and it's genuinely moisturising. And this also contains glycerin for moisture. No essential oils and no fragrance, so I'm happy. This is definitely more of an oil-based moisturiser. I apply a single layer onto the skin, and that's enough to moisturise my skin fully. As you can see, the skin looks happy, healthy, and moisturized. So this just seals in all the previous steps. Next up is lip care, and for that, I use the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Now the ingredients list is extremely long for this, and it does contain things like fragrance and alcohol, which I don't quite understand. But this does stop my lips from being chapped, as this contains hyaluronic acid and beta-glucan, just to lock in moisture and hydration. And of course, sheer butter and wax. So of course this forms an occlusive layer on the skin. This product melts into the skin. It does honestly feel like butter. Of course it's got a bit of that stick because of the wax. I would like to try the other flavours as well. Vanilla looks nice. Sits comfortably on the skin and there's no irritation. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe today for more content. If you'd like to have more information on these products or if you want to know my opinion on them, then please check out the blog. The link will be down below. Please let me know if you've tried any of these products down below in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!